Hi, I'm Chad Colby, and I'm going to take you up on the first flight in my Cessna 205 with my new Steen Aviation wingtips. In those wingtips, they also have integrated some really great technology from AeroLeds. And AeroLeds got some high performance lights, as you know. Now, I have those lights in the OEM position on my airplane in both taxi and landing. You can see right now I have the airplane configured for taxi. But once I get clearance from the tower here in Bloomington, I'm going to turn all these lights on in landing mode. And trust me when I tell you, you're going to be impressed. Bloomington Tower, SSA 255 Zulu, is ready to go through the intersection runway 29. I'd like to stay in the pattern here and do three full stop takeoff landing. SSA 255 Zulu, Bloomington Tower, runway 29 at Golf, clear for takeoff, make left traffic. Clear for takeoff, left traffic, 55 Zulu, Roger. So, as you can see, this is a huge increase in awareness and lighting, all those great things in front of my Cessna. Now, for those of you that might be curious, Steen Aviation makes these for a lot of Cessna aircraft. 150s, 152, 170, 172s, 175, 180s, 182s, 206s, actually even 207s. So you'll have to check it out on their website, but look at the performance of these lights. I've been flying for over 20 years, and let me tell you, I've seen deer on the runway, and it's, it's, not a, it's not a pleasant feeling. And especially if you're landing at some remote fields, lighting is good. So as far as how the process works, you buy the kit from Steen Aviation. It comes with the shielded wire that you'll need. It'll come with the breaker, the switches, all the connection terminals. And it's got a nice area out on the edge of the wingtip to mount whatever type of strobes you might have on your airplane. If you haven't seen my other PyRep videos, be sure to check them out as I've got AeroLids products all the way around my airplane. But the last step of the puzzle for me was to power up the Aero Sun lights in that Steen Aviation wingtip. So I took it to my local shop. And you know what? The instructions are really straightforward. It had everything you needed with it. Now, this shop went a little above and beyond to make sure the wires were secure, and I'm okay with that. But the installation was pretty straightforward and very easy. But the best call I got from the shop was when it was done because they were all giddy. Well, they got to see the lights before I did. And let me tell you, these things are impressive. I hope this video shares just how bright these lights are and how well they work. Once I got the airplane back to my hangar, I was just curious to get a little bit more understanding about the system. So it's got a wig blag mode, or I want to call it recognition. And they flash about 60 times a minute back and forth. That's really nice. But the thing that surprised me the most was the, the taxi mode, because quite honestly, you don't need the OEM lights even on at taxi. Those three little LEDs on both sides is more than enough light and quite honestly doesn't even blind the, your ground crew, which is great. Here's the landing lights. You would expect them to be super bright. And well, they are. It's amazing how bright these are. And then as far as the first landing with these lights, you can see right away just how much farther you can see down the runway. It's actually really, truly impressive. Now, it's not uncommon at Bloomington on runway 29, even on runway 11, there's a, a pretty big distance between the two entry points. So a lot of times you do a 180 and back taxi, and that's what you're going to hear right here. Cessna 5501, we'll make a 180. Do you want to exit the runway at Gulf, or do you just want to go back, back to exit Gulf and depart? It's okay with you. That's 550 affirmative. Go ahead and make the 180 and back taxi to Gulf. Runway 29 or at Gulf, clear for takeoff. 550, Roger, thanks. So after my 180, I thought I'd give the gentleman in the tower a quick call. He's in those red lights you see about a half a mile away from me to get his impression of what these lights look like from the tower. Tower, 550. Cessna 550, tower. You got eyes on me right now. So this is stock landing lights with LED, or taxi. That's landing. This is some fancy new stuff. See what you think of this. There's wingtip lights. Should be a little obnoxious. Yes, 
they are. You can definitely see it. And we got that, too, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. They're saying six to eight miles in the sun. You can see that. I don't know. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Thanks. When you're texting out, I noticed the lights were a little brighter, but I thought, ah, you know, maybe a new plane, new something. Uh, that's funny. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. So after I took off here, I had to do things a little different because I could hear on the radio that there was a regional jet coming in. And here's some of that conversation here you might enjoy. Power 55 Zulu, you want me to uh, extend this landing and taxi back, or how are we on time? Never 4697, how far are you from here now? We're just up across at Never 4697. Roger. Testify 5, five Zulu, Roger, go ahead and plan on landing, and Eddie's going to get Delta if you don't think you can make uh, golf. You got it, sounds good. I'll go down to Delta 5, five Zulu. So I configured my lights a little differing on this landing. I've got, of course, the sunspot lights on, but as far as the wingtip lights go, I left them in wigwag mode, so they're going back and forth, just to demonstrate how well these brighten things up. Number 4697, runway 29, clear to land. 29, clear to land, Number 4697. Is he able to make golf? If he wouldn't play, he came in hot just planning on light, turning off at Delta. They're rolling out midfield now. All right, I was going to be impressed. Just about did on their last one. Nice. That whole series of events, as far as me landing long down the runway and getting out of the way, that's really just airplane etiquette and being smart as a pilot. I'm taxiing back on Echo for my last takeoff and landing of the night. I've got the airplane with the taxi lights on only, but to be honest with you, I'm checking out this regional jet as he's coming into Greece in a landing. Little did I know he'd be doing the same thing in just a moment. Dodge this mission Bravo current. Test 55 Zulu information Bravo is now current. Wind 300 at 12, altimeter 3013. 3013 for Bravo Weather for 55 Zulu, and I'm ready to go to the golf intersection runway 29. Number 4697, tags via Delta Echo Golf to the ramp, monitor ground. Have a good night. Delta Echo Golf to the ramp, we'll monitor ground there, 4697. Says 55 Zulu, runway 29, our golf, clear for takeoff. 8255 Zulu, Roger that, clear for takeoff. So this was my final takeoff and landing, planning to stay in the pattern and Obviously, I was really excited about the performance of these lights and really am looking forward to sharing this video with you. But the one thing I, I guess that kind of surprised me was when you're around professionals like the guy in the tower, and as you're going to hear in a minute, uh, regional jet pilots, um, it's nice to know that you can add some technology to your airplane to make a difference. What I did know at the time is you'll see the taxiing regional jet there on the right was his conversation with the tower on the ground frequency. And I'm glad to share it with you, it's great. Hey, ground there, 4697. Uh, what kind of Cessna was that? 55 Zulu, Rachel J. I was wondering what type of Cessna you guys are. Uh, 8255 Zulu is a Cessna 205. 205, Rex, thanks. There are 4697, there are a Cessna 205. The lights on that thing, it looked pretty, uh, and it sounded pretty mean passing by us. They've just got brand new lights on that, and so yeah, they've got some interesting light setups on that. <laughs> I should have stayed on tower to talk about that, they would have gassed him up probably. The lights are pretty impressive. That's awesome. Yeah, you know what, it would be nice for some safety when I'm in busy airspace, you know? Don't blame me there. It sure is great when you can take modern new technology and add it to something old and get all the benefits. You can learn more about AeroLeds Lights and Steen Aviation at their website. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other PyRep videos, and as always, fly safe.